Alright you guys, so before we get started into today's video, I just want to show you guys this cool app called Game Time. Basically what you do, you go and you download it, download link will be in the description. You choose your city, they have basically every single major city in the US, me being from Indiana, close to Indianapolis. I would love to go to a Pacers game, man. I would love to go to this Bucks game on the 21st. So what you do, go to where it says share, get $10, mine says 180 because so many people have put in this redemption code. Game time was kind enough to hook me up with my own personal code to help you guys out. You put that in, you get $10 off of any ticket that you want. So say you want to go to a Bulls game, you get $10 off of tickets. You could be potentially going to a professional league sports game. That sounded really awkward. You could potentially be going to a professional sports game for free, man. That's so crazy. You can buy up to 20 tickets. This is such a great app and a great offer. I really hope you guys do take advantage of it. It. The, the the code is CSB. Download link is in the description. I really hope you guys do take advantage of this. Like I said, it's a good deal. And now let's get right on into today's video. Hey guys, what's going on? Got your CSB here coming at you with another NBA 2K16 rebuilding video. You guys voted in the poll last video for this team. And I am here to bring you guys the New Orleans Pelicans. Now, this team is kind of weird because, you know, coming into the season, they were, you know, projected to be not, you know, like a top three team in the in, in the West, excuse me. But, you know, they were they were projected to be, you know, better than last year. Obviously not the eighth seed, uh, have a much better record than last year. But they're not really doing so hot. I don't really understand why. Uh, you know, maybe it's just new coaching or the fact that they've had some injuries. I don't really know what the problem is with them. But I'm here to rebuild this team into a championship contender now. Public service announcement, if you do not like fantasy rebuilds where I'm trying to get the best team possible, click out of this video, get out. This is not the video for you. Go watch someone else that does realistic stuff and takes like eight years to win a title. Because, I mean, like, let's be real. If I did realistic stuff, I'd be, I'd be here for a very, very long time. So... One storyline going into this rebuild, if there are even a, well, if there is even a storyline, is Drew Holiday and Tyreek Evans. I have no idea if I want to keep them, all right? I have no idea. I might want to keep them for this year and then trade them. Uh, I honestly have no idea. So those are two players that will definitely be on the trading block for basically the uh, whole entire season. So this trade is basically just a huge salary dump, you know. Uh, Ashik is making 41 mil over four years, and uh, Ajinka is making 19 and a half mil over four years. Basically, getting the same exact players in terms of uh, overall 76 and 74, 4A, 76 and 74, uh, and you know, dumping salary in the process. I mean, these guys are making less than $3 million for this year. I don't know if they have any options or not. I think uh, Olenek does. Tyler Zeller might be a free agent. While I am here, let me just see what I can get in a package deal for Drew Holiday and Tyreek Evans. I might just wait until the trade deadline and wait until they play a little bit better and then trade them so that way they have more, uh, they have more value. CJ McCollum, that's not bad whatsoever, but I would not be left with a point guard. Uh, there's really no good trades here. I think I honestly might just be making one trade. I mean, Gordon Hayward and Derek Favors, but I mean, I already have Anthony Davis. So there's really no point. And, you know, Gordon Hayward would actually, this trade is a little bit tempting because it would fill our need at small forward. I wouldn't have to go after LeBron and free agency. I can trade Derek Favors for a point guard or a shooting guard. Honestly, yo, Mike Conley and Tony Allen. Um, We're going to get Mike Conley. I mean... Looking at this trade, obviously Mike Conley is much better than Drew Holiday. Yeah, he's, he's three years older, you know, doesn't really matter. Tony Allen is a good defender, good lockdown defender. I'm going to go ahead and accept this trade, sending Drew Holiday and Tyreek Evans to the Memphis Grizzlies. Right here, I will be sending Quincy Pondexter and Ryan Anderson to the Toronto Raptors for Damari Carroll and Patrick Patterson, basically getting a... Uh, backup power forward in replace of Ryan Anderson, who I'm going to let go of this year anyway. And Damari Carroll is basically just a fill-in small forward until I get to the offseason and free agency. Because, I mean, if I could actually get LeBron on this team, that'd be pretty crazy. But pretty sure it won't happen because he never signs with you when you offer him a contract. Even though I think I might have found the you know exact contract that gets him to sign with you. Maybe, maybe not. When we get there, I will show you guys. So here's the starting five. Going into season one, Mike Conley, Eric Gordon, Damari Carroll, Anthony Davis, and Tyler Zeller. We definitely do need an upgrade at the center position. Kind of small forward and kind of shooting guard. I mean, Eric Gordon, 
He is on an expiring contract this year, I do believe. Yes, uh, 15 million. So I probably will trade him during the uh, trading deadline. I probably will just so, you know, I can actually get something in return for him instead of just letting him walk for nothing. So we are here at the trade deadline, and I told you guys I would trade Eric Gordon. I packaged him and Damari Carroll, and this trade pops up. Al Jefferson and Nicholas Batum. Batum is killing it for the Hornets in real life. Al Jefferson is on an, an uh, expiring contract. I don't know if I will bring him back or not. I don't know if I'll get like white side in free agency or not because he never goes back to the heat. So let's go ahead and accept this trade. Now you're probably thinking you're an idiot. You don't have a starting shooting guard now. You're right. I am an idiot, but I do have Tony Allen who can't really do much on the uh, offensive end as his mid-range is a 71, three is a 68. So first of all, I'm going to see if, if there are any free agents available. Should we go and sign Ray Allen? Should, oh, wow. Yeah, we are definitely signing Ray Allen. Ray Allen is going to be the starting shooting guard for us this year. Uh, let, yeah, let's just release Dante Cunningham. Probably won't even use him anyway. Let's go ahead and get Ray Allen, sign him to the squad, one-year deal. He probably will end up retiring, but I don't care. He's now our uh, not new starting shooting guard. I don't know why I said that, but uh, that does give us some firepower off of the two guard position uh, off of the bench so now new starting five Mike Conley Tony Allen Nicholas Batum Anthony Davis and Al Jefferson we are currently in the fifth spot in the west which I'm pretty impressed with uh, I mean we started the year really bad like look at all these L's that we took in the beginning of the year it was pretty bad but then we went on an, a, a, a nice win streak and we are 30 and 23 only two and a half games behind the Clippers basically we can't get above fourth so it's basically realistic if it's just 4th through 8th, or if we don't make the playoffs at all, which, I mean, I really hope we do, but I'm definitely not looking to win the title this year because that's pretty unrealistic for the roster that I have. At the end of season number one, Kevin Durant walks away with the MVP award. Uh, almost 31 points, 9 rebounds, and almost 8 assists with almost 2 steals and 2 blocks. Jaleel Okafort wins Rookie of the Year. Would not be surprised if this does happen in real life. Either him or Carl Anthony Towns will win it, in my opinion. Corey Joseph wins Sixth Man of the Year. Definitely not expecting that. But back-to-back -back years, that's someone from the Raptors wins Sixth Man of the Year. DeAndre Jordan gets Defensive Player of the Year. 15 rebounds and 3 blocks. That is absolutely insane. CJ McCollum de uh, deservingly wins the Most Approved Player. I think that, that probably will happen in real life. If not him, then maybe Steph. I don't know. There's talks of him getting most improved player. I don't even know, man. He'll probably just get MVP, and that's it, because CJ McCollum definitely does deserve it. And Billy Donovan wins coach of the year. The Thunder went 68 and 14, all right? Like, how do you stop that? All NBA first team, there's no Anthony Davis, no Anthony Davis on the All NBA second team, and no Anthony Davis on the All NBA third team. So I don't know what's happening. He did make the All Defensive first team. That's good to see. Serge Ibaka has a le has left knee tendonitis out two to four weeks. That will definitely help us in our playoff chances. And then the All Defensive second team. Here's the All Rookie first team, and then the All Rookie second team. So let's get right on into the playoffs. We are the fifth seed. Here is our starting five. Uh, Mike Conley, Ray Allen, Batum, Anthony Davis, and Al Jefferson. See, now one reason why I don't like the West, look, like, look, 48-34, we would have been third in the East. Like, that's all I'm saying. The Pistons are 49-33. and How in the world are the Pistons 49-33? and They literally have the same exact roster. I don't really understand how that team is so great. We are going up against the Los Angeles Clippers. Let's go ahead and get the win in this series. They win game one. We tie it up, win by 13. All right, that's good to see. They take a 2-1 series lead. We tied it two games apiece. That's good. And they take a 3-2 series lead. Now, I am obligated to um, do this to SimCast. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully, we can come out of here with the victory. All right, man, it is not looking pretty. We gave up 43 points in the second quarter, getting outscored by 21. And we do get eliminated from the playoffs by 31 points. Wow, Ray Allen was our leading scorer. That definitely cannot happen. Anthony Davis with 12 points and 10 rebounds. Uh, pretty poor performance from him. They had three dudes in double figures. Where's DeAndre? DeAndre had 16 rebounds and two blocks. Pretty impressive right there as we do lose in the first round to the Los Angeles Clippers. Let's see what all happens in the postseason as the Thunder almost came back from 3-1 down as the Cavs do win the championship, something that I think will not happen in real life just because the, the uh, Warriors are absolutely insane right now. 
Um, they probably will go 82-0. I'm kidding, guys. Totally kidding. They're not They're, they're not going 82-0. LeBron James wins the finals MVP. Numbers for the seven-game series are on your screen. And, wow, Ray Allen did not retire. Okay. All right. Uh, I might bring him back. Might not. I'm not too sure about that. Uh, George Carl retires, if that really matters. Uh, Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, Steve Nash, and Vince Carter all make the Hall of Fame. You guys already know my thought process with this trade. I'll get, I will get the 8th pick and then move my way up to get the 7th pick, 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, and eventually, hopefully, getting the 1st pick. Now, you, probably, you guys are probably wondering, how do you move up in the draft? Well, this is what you do. 2K really does need to fix this. So, you see, I have the 8th pick. So basically what you do, you go over and you find the seventh pick. So if you have the ninth pick, look for the eighth pick. And literally these trades are so easy to do. I mean, well, let I me mean, like look, the eighth and the twenty-fourth. Actually, I'll probably just end up taking like this one for Patterson, to be honest, and just get Joe Inglis in return. So that way I can keep my twenty-fourth pick. Actually, you know, screw it, man. It 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 doesn't really matter about my twenty-fourth pick. I'm not really gonna, you know, so select someone that's gonna be, you know, a big name player. I don't really know what I'm trying to say here. Um, let's try and go for the six pick now. And actually, uh, I'm just going to go ahead until eventually I end up getting to the third pick, the second pick, and the first pick. Because you guys don't want to see me do this for like three minutes. All right, so we are here at the draft. I was only able to move up to the second pick. The Nuggets were too stubborn enough and would not give up that first pick in the draft. Let's see who they take with the first pick. I kind of hope it's not Ben Simmons because, if it, you know, if it's not Ben Simmons, then, uh, you know, obviously I am taking him. And they take Scal LeBissier. I don't really uh, I don't really understand that. You know, you have Fareed. You can trade Fareed for a better power forward. I don't really understand that too much. You know, they kind of need a small forward. Well, I mean, they have Gallo. And, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, Wilson Chandler, yes. 25 trade offers. Let me just view these trade offers. Actually, I don't even think I viewed it. Viewed it. Oh, okay, I did. Okay, that was way too long of an animation. This one for Devin Booker has been on my mind for a while just because, I mean, you know, Devin Booker progresses into a great shooter and he's already at an 86 mid-range and an 87-3. That's, you know, been a very, very tempting offer throughout all, all of this trading. Yo, we can get Chris Stops Porzingad for the second pick, but I don't need him, though. That's the thing that sucks. I don't need him. You know, if I didn't have Anthony Davis, I would definitely go ahead and take him. These ones right here, you know, Gordon Hayward and Rudy Gay. These ones are tempting because, you know, I kind of need a small forward, and if I don't get LeBron in free agency, then I'm kind of screwed. I am not going to take any of these trades. We're going to go ahead and take Ben Simmons. You guys loved me getting Ben Simmons in the last rebuilding video. So let's go ahead and get him into straight rebuilding videos. We are here at free agency. $68 million in cap. Now I do have to remember I'm getting Mike Conley back. I do believe he is a, a uh, restricted free agent. I'm not sure if I want Al Jefferson back. I might want to get Hassan Whiteside instead. Just because, you know, Anthony Davis and Hassan Whiteside freaking defensive monster front court right there all right so that's kind of my thought process right there i do have to bring back mike conley obviously and lebron is not even here so all right at least i drafted ben simmons let's go ahead and get mike conley back actually okay white side let's go ahead and get white side first because uh conley is a restricted free agent so i can match any offer let's give you 17 and a half mil over three years i do believe that's what it was I'm going to go out and get Bradley Beal, restricted free agent as well. If I can actually pull off this signing, this might be one of the best free agencies I've ever had. 24 mil over four years. Yes, I know I am overpaying for him. I don't really care. Mike Conley is a, a restricted free agent, so I'm fine right there. Bradley Beal wants to sign. That is great. We still have $44 million in cap. That is so great. I wonder if I can actually still sign him. Oh, yeah. I can definitely still sign Whiteside without a doubt. Let's see where we are. We are first in terms of offers. Let's see if he signs with us. And they both want to sign with us, Mike Conley and Hassan Whiteside. So we are going to match Mike Conley's offer and get Hassan Whiteside. Let's go ahead and do that. Welcome to the squad, both of you. Well, welcome back, Mike Conley, and welcome to the squad, Hassan Whiteside. So here is the new and improved starting five after one of the best free agencies I have ever had. Mike Conley, Bradley Beal, Ben Simmons, Anthony Davis, and Hassan Whiteside. Our bench is uh, pretty well, pretty good as well is what I meant to say. Uh, I basically ended up getting Ray Allen back. Uh, I signed I, I signed Brandon Bass. I signed it, Brandon? Okay. Uh, yeah, I signed Brandon Bass, and I also got Tony Roten, which I didn't really need him because, you know, Norris Cole did come back. 
But, you know, other than that, I mean, Ben Gordon was signed by the computer. So our bench is not that bad whatsoever. We only have a 4-3% teammate chemistry, which is not bad whatsoever. So I will simulate to the trade deadline. But if nothing happens, then you guys will be seeing the end of season number two. For the second year in a row, Kevin Durant walks away with the MVP award. 29 points, 8.5 rebounds, 7 assists, almost 2 steals, and almost 2 blocks. Ben Simmons, our very own Ben Simmons, walks away with the Rookie of the Year award. 15 points, almost 8 rebounds, 5.5 assists, 1 steal, and almost 1 block. Great to see that from him. Uh, you know, heading into the playoffs. Zach Levine wins six man of the year. Anthony Davis, our very own Anthony Davis. Why do I say very own? What the heck? That kind of sounds stupid. Uh, he wins defensive player of the year. 23 points, almost 12 uh, rebounds, two assists, one steal, almost three blocks. And Trey Lyles wins most improved player. Never see Trey Lyles win most improved player. Never see him win a single award. I kind of forgot that he was in, that, uh, he was in the uh, NBA. Low key. Loki forgot he was in the NBA. And Billy Donovan, once again, wins Coach of the Year. 54-28 and 28 Thunder, first in the West. Here we go with the All-NBA first team. There is Anthony Davis. Much deserved for him. All-NBA second team. No one from our team there. And then All-NBA third team. No one from our team made it there. Anthony Davis does make the All-Defensive first team. That is great to see. And no one on, on our team made the All-Defensive second team. But you already know, Ben Simmons is... I that, That's awkward. I meant to say Ben Simmons as I flipped it. He does make the All-Rookie first team. Great to see from him. And then here's the All-Rookie second team. So once again, we are playing... Uh, in the bracket that's underneath the Thunder. Yeah, I was going to say we're once again the fourth seed, but um, we weren't the fourth seed last year. We were the fifth seed. We we're going up against the Houston Rockets. Here is the starting five. Same exact starting five. Same exact bench. Everything is good. Tomato, tomato. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and check out this Rockets team. They don't have Dwight, and they're somehow still the fifth seed. Where did Dwight even go? Did he go to the Pacers? Yo, Dirk went to the Pacers. Oh, excuse me. Wow. Dirk went to the Pacers. All right, uh, where did... Yo, Dragic went to the Mavs. Where is... Oh, wow, Powell went back to the Lakers. Where did Dwight go? Actually, I don't really feel like looking for him if I can't find him. So, screw that. We're just going to go ahead and go, get, get on with this simulation. Hopefully, we can walk out of this series with a win. It is tied at one game apiece. We take the 2-1 series advantage, 3-1 series advantage, and we are on to the second round to face the Oklahoma City Thunder. This is going to be a huge test for us, all right? We have got to win this series. I definitely think we can. Right here, it is Warriors and Spurs in the second round as the Spurs beat the Timberwolves. And the Warriors did beat the Clippers. Bulls, Sixers out east, and uh, Hawks, Wizards. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Thunder's roster. Basically, no changes, really. I mean, they have Gary Neal. They have Devin Harris. They have Mirza Toledovic. They have Ian Clark, Devin Marble. And, oh, but Cameron Payne is out for six weeks. And Anthony Morrow with his, like, whatever three, isn't it? Yeah, like, it, yeah, like his 87-3. He's out. So that is great to see. Maybe we can win this series. I think maybe we can. No one is hurt. That is great. Let's go ahead and let's win this series. They win game one by almost uh, 40 points. Wow, they won by 37 points. Okay. Game two, they win by 11. Game three, they're up 3-0, and it's not looking too good, and we just got swept by the Thunder. How do you beat the Thunder in this game? Like, honestly, how in the world do you beat the Thunder? Like, no one was hurt on my team. And we still got swept by the Thunder. All right, man. GG. They're probably going to go ahead and win the, the uh, title. And they do. Yes, they do. They beat the Philadelphia 76ers in six games. Man, this Sixers team is crazy young. And they made the finals. Thunder, yeah, I mean, there's really no way to really stop them in this game, to be honest. It is time to part ways with Mike Conley. We are, we are going to send him to the Phoenix Suns for Eric Bledsoe and Tyson Chandler. I'm taking this trade mainly because Eric Bledsoe is two years younger, one overall point higher. He makes less than Mike Conley, and Tyson Chandler is a good defensive center that I would really like to have on this team. So welcome to the team, Eric Bledsoe and Tyson Chandler. I might regret making that move, all right? I might regret it. So in free agency, I had very limited funds. I went out and got Ben McLemore, maxed out on the mid-level exception. He did end up accepting the offer, and the Kings did not match it. So he is now our new backup shooting guard. I really like this, considering he does have an A3 ball, 87-3 ball. I really do like it. I think that we 
you know, we kept the same bench, but we did upgrade it with Tyson Chandler and Ben McLemore. Hopefully this can be the year that we can win the title. I'm not too sure if it will be. If it's not, I will be sad because then we'll have, we'll have to go to a fourth season and that'll be pretty crazy. But I think we can get first in the West this year and I think we can maybe dethrone the Thunder. All right, so the starting five going into season number three, Eric Bledsoe, Bradley Beal, Ben Simmons, Anthony Davis, and Hassan Whiteside. We did add Tyson Chandler and Ben McLemore to beef up the bench unit. So let's go ahead and get into season three. Our first game, of course, is against the Oklahoma City Thunder. Let's see if we can actually win the first game of the year. Maybe we can. Oh, my God. We won by 26 points. That is so great. We outscored him by 19 in the fourth, scoring 47. Ben Simmons with 26 and 8. Kevin Durant with 31, Westbrook with 19, 4, and 11. Okay, this might in fact be our year, man. So at the end of year number three, look at the playoff picture. There is a one-game differential between us and the Warriors. And who do we play the last game of the season? The Warriors. Of course we do. So let's go ahead and make sure that this lineup is okay. No one is hurt. Everything is great. And let's see if we can actually win. And lock up the one seed. Can we win it? Yes. We win it by three. We win this, the uh, season series two games to one against them. Kevin Durant, three straight years. He wins the MVP. This one is probably his best uh, statistical season. Len Mark, Rookie of the Year. No one cares. Auto generator rookie. Kenneth Reed, Sixth Man of the Year. Anthony Davis, once again, wins Defensive Player of the Year. Averaging a double-double, almost three assists, and almost three blocks. Kyle Anderson wins Most Improved Player. And Lloyd Pierce, the coach of the uh, Philadelphia 76ers, wins the Coach of the Year. All-NBA first team. There is no Anthony Davis sighting to be found. But Ben Simmons made the All-NBA second team. 16 points, 8 rebounds, 8 assists, almost 2 steals. That is very great to see from him going into the playoffs. All-NBA third team, still no Anthony Davis. All right. All-defensive first team, there is Anthony Davis. No surprise there. And then all-defensive second team, there is Eric Bledsoe. That is a good trade I made, in my opinion. It did not come back uh, to bite me in the butt. And let's just go ahead and check out Mike Conley, he's an 87, and, you know, Eric Bledsoe is an 88 with much better shooting stats. So I'm definitely fine with that. Starting five, going into the playoffs, same exact starting five that you guys are used to. Tyson Chandler has been a beast this year, man. Let me just tell you that. He's been a beast. Nine points, eight and a half rebounds off the bench. I will definitely go ahead and take that. Going up against the Minnesota Timberwolves in the first round. Let's not choke. Let's go ahead and come out of here with the win. We win the first two games at home, lose game three on the road, but we win game four, and we are on to face the Oklahoma City Thunder. They swept us last year, all right? And I'm not looking to get swept this year. That's definitely not about to happen. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to us. Let's hit him with the sweep. Yes! How you like that? We hit you with a taste of your own medicine. You sweep us, we sweep you. That's how it goes. And we are playing the Golden State Warriors. They beat the Clippers in seven games, winning by 23 points in game seven. Steph Curry, you know, only with nine points. Three of 14 shooting, one of six from three, but he did have 15 assists. Great. Oh, what? Dwight Howard. Dwight's on the Warriors? No wonder why they're so good. Like, did he get traded or did they actually sign him? All right. Um, wow, he actually signed with the Warriors in free agency two years ago. Wow. So this team is really nice, actually. If Dwight was on the Warriors now, see, now I won't say that they're, that they'd be even better because honestly, he'd probably just end up screwing up teammate chemistry. Western Conference Finals, Pelicans and Warriors. We won the season series against them two games to one, including the final game of the season. Let's see if we can go ahead and get the job done. We win game one by one freaking point all right man game two we win by 11 points let's try and get game three we can't we lose by 16 game four we are up three games to one if we win we go ahead and face off against the boston celtics in the nba finals let's go ahead and see if we can get the job done and we don't we lose by 16 i really don't want to lose this game really don't tyson chandler i understand that you're tired man but can we please, please just win this game in advance to the NBA Finals? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We win by five points. Steph Curry with 22. Lou Williams with 22 off of the bench. Klay Thompson with only 17 points. Dwight with six 
points and nine rebounds. He had five fouls. Draymond Green was also in foul trouble with six fouls. Steph was also in foul trouble with five fouls. Anthony Davis, 34 points. Beastly performance from him. Uh, Bledsoe with 21. Beal with 18. Ben Simmons with 16, 10, and 8. Triple-double numbers right there. We're going on to the NBA Finals to face the Boston Celtics. Let's go ahead and take a look at their roster and who they have. They drafted Jalen Brown with the third pick, no, the fifth pick in the 2015 NBA draft or 20, uh, 2016 NBA draft. They have Zach Randolph. Did they sign? Uh, yep. Okay. So they signed Zach Randolph in free agency. They got Al Jefferson. This is actually a pretty good starting five, to be honest. You know, Isaiah Thomas. Actually, who's their starting shooting guard? That's my question. I don't know who their starting shooting guard is, but it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and beat them in the finals. We win game one and game two and game three. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and try to get the sweep here in game four in Boston to win our first NBA championship. I'm pretty sure the Hornets, I mean the Pelicans, first ever NBA championship. Starting five, same as always. Let's go ahead and get this sweep. All right, so the Celtics were not about to let us sweep them in Boston. They win by 12 points at home. Bradley Beal with 21, Anthony Davis 16, 14, and 5. Great numbers from him right there. Whiteside only with 4 points and 6 rebounds. And then on their team, Al Jefferson with 18 points and 10 rebounds. Solinger, I believe, off the bench, uh, 17 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. All right. You know, it's it's always better to win the championship at home anyway. Let, let's just make sure that the rotation is okay. Mike Dunleavy's cold, but that doesn't really matter a whole lot. Let's go ahead and win the championship at home this time. It's much better to win it at home than on the road because you want to celebrate in front of the home fans. Let's go ahead and win in five games. I'm going to commentate through this whole entire thing because some of you guys actually think I cheat when I cut it. No, I do that to save time. Even if it's like 10 seconds, it saves time. It's looking good. It is looking good. And there we go, up by 20 plus points. We are going to win the NBA championship in our third season against the Boston Celtics. 22 seconds left. We are up by 18 points. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and take a look at the box score. Excuse me. Anthony Davis, 25 and 10, 9 and 9 from the free throw line. Bradley Beal, 18, 3 and 5. Eric Bledsoe, 17 points, 8 assists. Ben Simmons with a triple double in game five. Dunleavy, he was cold. Uh, not anymore. 13 points off of the bench. And uh, Whiteside, 6 points and 7 rebounds. Let's go ahead and take a look at their team. What they got going on? Al Jefferson, 23 points, 6 rebounds. I mean, really? We just completely outplayed them. Where did we win the game? We basically won the game in the third quarter, outscoring them by 11 points. Let's go ahead and jump into this game and show you guys the championship celebration as we do win the NBA Finals in five games. And they've done it, the new NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that come with winning it all. And Clark, you have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. So there you have it. We end up winning the NBA championship in our third season, winning in five games against the Boston Celtics. And as you saw, the finals MVP is no other than Ben Simmons. In five games, he averaged 20 points, eight rebounds, almost seven assists, almost two blocks, almost two steals. So impressive. Definitely worth it the second overall pick that I did uh, select him with. Retired players, Dirk, Jamal Crawford, uh, Barbosa, Verjao, Ben Gordon goes out with a ring. Other than that, ooh, Gallo, he has a broken left ankle out for his career. And that's, I'm pretty sure, the only player that is hurt from a uh, career-ending injury. And Bob, uh, I don't know why I said his name. He retires, is if it matters. And Dirk Nowitzki makes the Hall of Fame. No surprise there. Let's take a look at the championship roster led by Anthony Davis, Bradley Beal, Eric Bledsoe, Ben Simmons, Hassan Whiteside, Tyson Chandler, Ben McLemore, Norris Cole, Brandon Bass, Mike Dunleavy, Luke Babbitt, and Marcelo 
Huertas. I think that's how you say that. I don't know. All I know is he's on the Lakers in real life, man. That's all I know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Make sure to go vote in the poll in the description down below. And make sure to tell me in the comments section the teams that you guys have rebuilt because I do like looking at those. You know, say you rebuilt the Celtics in one year. Let me know what that team was. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace. Just before the game, the championship record is a little to the finals by NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. And a proud moment indeed for this team and their fans. Hassan Whiteside.